It's been about a month since I started using Notion and since I started my 12 week year experiment. So in today's video, I wanted to give you an update on where I am with both of these things and share some things that I've learned along the way and the adjustments that I'm making. So starting off with the Notion update, I have made some changes to make my front page more functional for me. Uh, there's some things that in practice didn't work out so I made some adjustments because after all it is a productivity tool above all else. I merged the weekly agenda and the task list sections. I found that I was using one or the other, not the two together. So what I've done is I've completely removed the task list section. Underneath my weekly view, I've added a toggle called upcoming tasks and I've just got a list of tasks that need to be done at some point, either this week or the next week or the week after. Um, I just haven't allocated them to a day yet. So next up, I've also merged the editing and the photography sections. So these were identical um, and I did mention in my last video that I might end up merging them. Well, I did pretty much the next day. So I just deleted one and then titled the other photography and editing. At the moment I don't have any any projects going on with either of those and I don't think that I'll be getting that many that will warrant having a different section for each one um, and I can always categorize them if need be and we'll see what works. This really is a work in progress. I've also added a filming uh, calendar view on my content calendar and this has helped me organize the days that I'm filming obviously. The vintage section was completely unnecessary so I deleted that. I also added a wish list section. Um, it's mainly for things I will need whilst traveling um, because I do plan on traveling pretty soon. That's that's it for the Notion update so far. As you can see, I've still got it pretty minimal and functional. As always, functionality above aesthetics. I just don't have the capacity to make it look super pretty. So let's have a quick recap of my goals that I set in the 12 week year and I'll update you on the progress I've been making. So the first priority area was social media growth. I am aiming to hit 1,000 subscribers, 800 to 1,000 watch hours and 1,000 followers on TikTok. So I've been doing pretty well on the YouTube front. I can see that there's um, an increase in my watch hours and an increase in the subscriber count, which is great. If you're new here, then thank you so much. I really do appreciate your support. And if you've been here for a while, Again, thank you from the bottom of my heart. You have no idea how much that means to me. So I told myself that I wanted to post two videos each week um, and I, so far, touch wood, I've done so. I've only missed one upload and it, there was good reason for it, basically. So TikTok is where things are a bit downhill at the moment. I haven't really been posting on there as much as I should have. I said that I would be posting daily on TikTok. There's been weeks where I've posted one TikTok a week and you really can't expect growth on TikTok with one video a week. The next area was establishing routines, specifically getting out of bed earlier because I wake up early but I have the tendency to stay in bed until it's time to start working basically and I wanted that to change, I wanted to make the most of my mornings. And then the other one was to go for walks, I think I said four to five times a week. So I've been pretty good with getting out of bed earlier. To be honest, YouTube has helped me so much because I've done a few challenges since then that require me to be up early. As far as going out for walks is concerned, I I haven't been doing as many walks as I would like to. I made a good start. I did quite a few walks at the start and then the past couple of weeks I feel like I've been slacking a little bit. To be honest, there's been a lot on my mind and there's been a lot going on and it sort of meant that I've pushed some of my priorities aside, some things have changed, um, but going out is very important. I need to start going out more. And then the final priority was language learning, specifically improving my French. My aim is to reach a level of B2. Um, I think I used to be probably B1, but I've probably dropped down now to like an A2 or something. Yeah, this has been the goal that I've been most consistent with, to be honest, but if I want to hit my aims, I do need to pick up my pace and work a little bit harder. To be honest, it's the same with all of these goals. I need to 
I'm not sure if I need to push harder or if I need to work more efficiently, probably the second of the two because I feel like I've put in loads of time and effort into these things, especially YouTube. Um, and I feel like I need to I need to be more efficient. I need to make my work go further, basically. By the end of today, I will have completed all of the language transfer lessons. There was 40 lessons um, and I was doing one a day and then a couple of weeks ago, I thought, no, actually I'm gonna speed up because this is quite slow and it's quite beginner level. There are definitely some changes that need to be made. So I will go into that now. Let's start with social media. For TikTok, I probably need to have a specific day dedicated to filming TikToks. So I was thinking today, for example, I'll film say seven TikToks, one for each day of the week, and I can upload those. And then if I don't want to upload those, I can make something else, but at least I've got the content that I can put out there. So I have post I post two videos a week on YouTube, right? And I try to make them topics that people are interested in, but if, but if each video is getting, say, 20 views, realistically, that is not enough for me to see the growth that I want to see. So I really need to push my existing videos out as well. So how I'm gonna do that is I'm going to start using my other social media platforms to promote. So I'm just going to work on improving my thumbnails and titles for the videos from now onwards and also the videos that have already been uploaded. I'm gonna tweak stuff, experiment, see what works, see what doesn't work and trying to get my videos um, the boost they need. Okay, so I saw someone on TikTok um, who said that if you want to build a habit, you use an existing habit that you have to motivate you and you combine the two and that's how you form the habit. That probably doesn't make sense how I explained it, but I will, hopefully it will in a little bit. I quite like that idea and I saw someone else say that they use, they have a specific TV show that they only allow themselves to watch when they're at the gym um, and then that's motivated them to go to the gym. So I thought I would apply a similar concept um, by using my French learning to motivate me to get out and walk more. So I've been pretty on it with consuming French media. I've really enjoyed watching French YouTube. Um, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a podcast or something that I can listen to when I'm walking um, and then me not wanting to miss out on my French for the day will push me to go out for a walk. Uh, so I think, I fingers crossed that will help me establish that habit. So French. I've been doing pretty well, as I've said throughout this video, I've been pretty on it with making sure I've been doing my daily um, journaling, my daily media consumption and my language transfers. However, I really need to up my pace and I really need to, I feel like I'm practicing, but there's no structure to it. There's no, I'm not on a specific path, basically. I'm like everywhere and nowhere at the same time. So what I really need is to make a language learning plan. Um, so I'm gonna start working on that this week. I need to rapidly increase my vocab so that I can have conversations. I really want to improve my speaking skills because I can understand written French so well. Well, I don't know about so well, but I can understand written French and I can pick up most of what someone is saying when someone's talking to me or when I'm like watching something in French but I do find it difficult to talk and this is because I've had like basically no practice with speaking. And quite often I feel like I don't know what word to use so I want to increase my vocab and I've found these prompts I'm gonna use um, for speaking prompts and I'm just gonna put my phone on a timer and speak for a minute said topic two minutes three minutes five minutes whatever um but a lot of the time i sort of feel like i don't know what word to use so my aim is to learn 30 new words each day so by the end of this 12 week year i should know 1950 new words that is a lot right um well i don't know if it's a lot but it's, it's a good amount to, to get me going. I thought I would also talk a little bit about the general changes that I'm making that sort of apply to the whole uh, system. I'm now going to start adding extra little tasks for me to focus on in the week. So I've got my sort of checklist of habits 
Then underneath these, I am now going to start adding little tasks like, for this week I've got um, create a French learning plan, stuff like that. As a little extra, I want to write a weekly reflection. So this could be, if things have gone not so well, then I can give a little explanation and then I can find patterns and I can find things that I can maybe change or I can even forgive myself basically. So for example this week I am in a pretty forgiving mood towards myself because I've had really bad headaches from Wednesday until Saturday, touch wood. Today is Sunday and today I feel a lot better. I can forgive myself that for those days um, I didn't do as much as I wanted to and to be honest everything that I did do is a massive win. So yeah, I'm just trying to be a little bit more kind for myself. And then if something went well, I can be like, this helped me, da 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 da, this, this is what works. So that is my updated strategy for the 12 week year and my update on Notion. Um, you are more than welcome to apply these to your goals. First, however, it would probably be beneficial to set up a plan for yourself. I would definitely recommend watching this video next where I go through all the basics of setting up a 12 week year and I show you how I set up mine.